it's a lot of the modeling of the love of learning that's going on. We love Science Works and we were out here last weekend for the parks, the national parks, and we believe that NASA is going to be an extraordinary opportunity for us to learn something, to see how far we've come, and for Madison to learn something as she grows. Oh, we're happy Science Works is here to offer us this opportunity. Definitely would like to stress that it is the hands-on aspect that we have to stress on. Just a simple example, all the Newton's laws of motions were devised by him working on a small table with, with probably ball bearing kind of structures and hypothesizing and proving those theorems. Science Works. Science Works inspires wonder and stimulates creative exploration through fun, interactive science and the arts. With its inception in 1999 as a pilot program of the Ashland Middle School Science Institute, ScienceWorks currently features over 100 hands-on exhibits that are accessible to visitors of all ages. Driving through town and I saw a sign that said Hands-On Science Center coming soon. And I immediately called and said I'd like to volunteer. I love just like the simplicity of it, just exploring and looking at shapes and colors. It's so simple, it's really fun just to like let everything go and just explore. It's like the little cartoon when the light bulb flashes, you actually see their eyes get big and they understand it and they discovered it and then they retain it because they discovered it on their own. Nobody taught it to them. They didn't have to memorize it for a test, they just figured it out. And then they go and run around the museum, grab all their friends and then they show their friends which means they're teaching their friends, so they retain it even longer. You, you walk through the museum and you hear a scream or you see a kid say, oh my gosh, or whatever it is they, that is that spark. Get people excited about science is what it's about. I'll get in a bubble with them. I'll go and scream in the scream chamber. That's why I have a great job, because I get to work with kids, play with kids, and educate them at the same time. Encouraging the exposure to science through hands-on inquiry methods, the ScienceWorks on-site education programs serve 12,000 school children from 22 school districts in nine counties. What ScienceWorks does, and this is why I take my kids there, is that they really understand how children learn. And it can't be in a lecture form. That there's got to be some meaning to it and that there's hands-on application to the content that they're trying to teach the students. And so ScienceWorks knows how to put that together with the way that it's designed. And then their instructors are clear about what the standards are for each grade level. And so it's this extra piece for us, reinforcement, or it might sometimes be an introduction to what we're teaching in the classroom. Look at it really closely so that I can see what colors it is and how big it is, what else would I do? What we need and how to do it and how to collect the data. So we're going to have to be thinking about that data the whole time. What else do you need to write down your data? Pencil. Other programs include the various public events and festivals throughout the year for adults, families, and children. NASA, for example, uh, experience was generated by one of our science advisory board members who was who actually worked on the rockets that launched the Apollo 11 mission. And so he made some phone calls, we negotiated with NASA, and they said, well, you're in this small southern Oregon area. And we said, yeah, but we're doing great things. And they, and they did it. As you can see from the line behind you, we have um, probably uh, 100 people waiting in line right now. And I think today uh, the reports are that we'll probably get about 800 people through the exhibit. And I think we had over 600 yesterday. So great turnout for ScienceWorks and a great turnout for the NASA exhibit. It's very beautiful uh, and very enriching for people who come here. It truly fills an edge which is lacking in the regular school curriculum. It's a great thing the Science Works Museum does. By myself being able to investigate the scientific phenomena and have that light go off for me was an incredible moment. So to be able to come back to this valley and be a part of Science Works and share this experience that I had with all of the people in this area, all of the kids and their families, is just an incredible, incredible experience. So being able to give back to the community that gave so much to me and uh, being able to offer something that we didn't have when I was a child in this area. 
It's not a fun day right now because I'm in the office not working with the kids. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. Because of my experience as a teacher and working with the Exploratorium, I got involved with our field trip program. So bringing kids to Science Works to go through field trips and help develop our school visit program. Part of our job at Science Works is to help develop programs that are aligned to the standards to help teachers meet these new standards. A kid who's not really involved and you watch him interact with all the exhibits all day long and then leave more confident than when he came in, that's huge. We're creating a preschool family network, so it's something that hasn't been developed yet. So it's pretty exciting and there's about 75 families signed up for the network right now. It's basically up to me to create a network of families and activities and programs for them to be involved in. Just to come out into the museum and there's just this whole world of people out there playing with the bubbles and playing in Discovery Island. It's a really nice break and it makes you realize what's so important about the museum exploration and I see the giant ball. fun and learning. Where is it? It's right here. Come on, let's go. Aye, aye, Captain. Mostly when we leave a school group and we ask them what their favorite thing was, and what they learned today. And you always get someone that just like was very quiet in the beginning of the day and kind of shy, who raises his hand and gets all excited and just screams, I love science. Science Works has been a part of my life ever since I was little and really has been important and an integral part of my growing up. It's gotten easier over the years. So we're drawing children in earlier all the way to uh, seniors and adults to scientific lectures. Today we're doing uh, Making Table Wine Part 2. What we're looking for in the future is a more intergenerational activity and a way to interest uh, members of Ali in science works and science specifically. For me, it's learning. Learning in the classroom at Ali and then uh, potentially learning with hands-on science experience here at Science Works. If it wasn't for places like this and if it was solely a classroom or solely a book, would it would we have the sort of level of science that we have in America? I don't know. We're lacking in the sciences, especially in this country. And we're just, our education is, is not what it used to be. Let's educate kids. Let's give them an opportunity to create a position for themselves that generates an economic benefit for the community going forward and can take us away from survival mode. If all we do is fund the short-term survivable things, which are absolutely critical, but ignore the ability to thrive, we're stuck in the same rut in 2010, 2011. I'm saying let's, let's fund science works in a way that can generate some long-term benefits for the economy and the community. Science Works, a hands-on museum that recognizes the importance of science in today's world.